this sectional video, we're going to look at functional programming paradigms. In this first video, we're going to go over some of the basics of what is meant by functional programming. So first of all, a quick reminder what is meant by the term programming paradigm. It's a style or way of computer programming, and different languages support writing programs in different ways. There are four major programming paradigms. Um, procedural, which you'll be very used to if you've been programming in Visual Basic or Python, you've been using procedural languages. Object-orientated, declarative and functional. Now, there are several key features to functional programming. The key one is that functions are used as the fundamental building block, unlike in other paradigms which allow you to use objects, procedures and others. Statements are written as a series of functions. Each statement accepts input as arguments and returns an output. But here's one of the most important ones, and we touched on this in the last set of videos on big data. Statelessness and immutability. So what do we mean by this? Well, one of the key features of functional programming is the values of variables cannot change. So, for example, if I assigned uh, 10 to A and 15 to B and then did the calculation A equals A plus B, we get an error. We can't alter the state of A once we've set it. We say, therefore, values are immutable and this makes the program stateless. Another key benefit is that functional programming has no side effects. A function can only perform a calculation and return a value. So what's the big benefits of this? Well, the major benefit is it makes code much easier to write correctly. It's easier for the program to understand the logic and the flow. It's much easier to predict how the program will behave and it's less prone to bugs. All of this aids massively in writing programs which need to take advantage of parallel processing or programs which are going to run across multiple servers. And of course, this is what makes functional programming ideal for processing big data. And we looked at this in more detail in our previous set of videos. So, in essence, a function is a rule that for each element in some set, let's call this A of inputs, assigns an output chosen from a set B but without necessarily using every member of set B. So this is the technical definition. We call set A, that's the input, the domain. And we call the set of possible values that it can draw from for its results the codomain. And we refer to this domain to codomain mapping using this notation here. Here, for example, we have a function um, x and it becomes x squared. So we can see here that each of the values in the domain from set A maps to one of the values from set B. Just note that the domain and codomain are always subsets of objects in some data type. So for example here, both the domain and codomain are subsets of the infinite set of um, numbers, or integers in this case. It's also important to note that in functional programming, functions are considered first-class objects. So what do we mean by a first-class object? Well, you're going to be very familiar with first-class objects from programming languages that you've learnt. Let's have a look at what defines a first-class object and see if you can work out what we mean. So a first-class object is any object which may be assigned to a variable. So it's something which can be assigned to a variable. It can appear in expressions, it can be assigned as an argument, and it can be returned in a function call. So it's not much of a leap now to realise that first-class objects you're familiar with from procedural languages are things like integers, uh, floats, characters and strings. All of these things can be assigned to variables, appear in Boolean expressions, be passed in as arguments and parameters to procedures and functions, and be returned from a function call. The important thing here is in a functional language, 
the actual building block itself, the function, is considered a first class object and can do all of these things.